say, though, that there is almost all of the forms of racism that have existed continue to exist and need to be fought. But there are also new forms of racism that we have to deal to, to, to deal with today. I'll give you a couple of examples. Walgreens was in a lawsuit nationwide uh, because their managers, when they were assigning managers in African American communities, they decided, well, we'll hire African Americans to be those managers. Some of them did really well. A lot of those stores in African American communities were quite small. And then those managers would say, well, I'd like to get promoted and run a big store which might be you know, downtown crossing, right? No, we think that you're better in that. It's not because we're racist, we're just searching for profits and trying to serve our customers. That's what they said, that's what they said in court. Uh, that kind of thing where corporations are saying, we're not, we're not being racist, we're just being realistic. You know, we need to um, assign certain people to certain neighborhoods and only those neighborhoods and not allow them to advance in their careers in the name of profits is increasing in corporate America and very frightening. And that the Civil Rights Act itself needs to be updated to more clearly uh, make the point that those things are illegal. The other frontier I want to say in terms of voting is that we need to go back to the South. We need to go back to the South. The, unfortunately, we cannot succeed with Massachusetts alone, or even with half of the nation, having semi-functional government. And we, we only do have semi-functional government in Massachusetts. But with a good, a good portion of the United States having the levels of systematic disenfranchisement that they have, from Texas to Delaware, in, in America's Black Belt, a new report by Ben Jealous, the former president of the NAACP, shows that there are five million unregistered African Americans. Five million. And if those citizens were registered, even 30% of them, you could change the politics of North Carolina, and South Carolina, and Georgia, and Florida. Pretty soon, you'd be talking about having a functional U.S. Congress, and a functional Senate, and a functional government. And unless we have those things, we're going to be frustrated for a very long time. So we're going to need to go back to the South.